Hi, Jamie Davis, the pod medic here at the Public Health Preparedness Summit in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm here with Jack Herman, who's the chairman of this event. And what a great project you've put together here. I mean, just a ton of people learning about, about so many different things. And uh, tell me a little bit about your impressions as you've kind of gotten things rolling here. Well, I, I think the conference is growing great. Uh, we have great attendance this year. We weren't quite sure given the economic uh, state of the nation and uh, whether or not uh, our public health representatives would be able to attend, but we were very excited in the last few weeks to see attendance rates climbing and climbing. So there's great representation of uh, the public health and healthcare community across the nation. What are your thoughts, uh, that, what do you want people to take away from this conference, the attendees, maybe just somebody new attending this and you'd like them to think about one thing as they attend and then leave? Well, this is an opportunity to learn what's going on in the public health preparedness field and there are many presenters here throughout the course of the week that are sharing their experiences, that are um, talking about the tools and resources or new research that's occurred in the field in the last uh, year. Mm -hmm. So we hope that they are able to take that information away, those tools away with them, and strengthen their preparedness programs. Now, I, I heard, uh, talk to Andy Rozak about the fact that there's just a somebody here from every state in the United States, uh, many of the territories, associated territories in the United States, as well as places like Vietnam, South Korea. Uh, really, this is an international event. Yeah, it's become an international event, which I think is also making it uh, very exciting. This is the first year we've had such an international contingent, and so that tells us that uh, this particular conference is uh, creating some visibility on the international front that our international partners think they have something to learn from us and as a result there's some value to the international community. And, and they get to take, so often the United States uh, will respond in some ways in internet, on the international stage for uh, a resp disaster response and things like that. Uh, certainly it gives them an opportunity to understand what how, how we're going to operate and be better prepared to interact with, with our, our services. But uh, maybe uh, Rick and I were talking earlier today about the uh, universality of the public health needs that are out there. Mm -hmm. When a disaster strikes, everyone really needs the same basic health and wellness services. Yeah, I, I think it's important to recognize that we have things to learn from our international partners, they have things to learn from us, and that there is some universality uh, regarding public health issues, the need to uh, protect the health and welfare of the world. And so the U.S. Um, isn't only focused on domestic issues, but really has a world view of how we can uh, contribute to protecting the health and welfare of, of everyone. Well, it certainly shows, and what a wonderful conference. We had a great set of sessions today, lots of great speakers here that we had on our podcast studio, and thank you for having us here to cover this. We're looking forward to everything tomorrow. Well, thank you for being here. We appreciate that. Great. Thanks. And I want to thank all of you for checking out this episode here as we brought this segment to you from the Public Health Preparedness Summit in Atlanta, Georgia. And again, thank you to NACHO for sponsoring us and bringing us into this event. And we look forward to maybe a long partnership to help spread the word about public health and preparedness.